Hey everybody, um, sorry for the couple day, um, break or whatever that I did, um, kind of parched ideas, but now I'm back with a review of the Disney Parks Toy Story Buzz Lightyear Spaceship playset, um, or I know you can buy this at, like, Disney World, Disneyland, whatever, Disney Parks, of course, um, it's pretty cool, I have this one and a Andy's Toy Box set, that's like a, it opens up with a Woody's Roundup one. That one's much more complicated, but um, I figured I'd do this one first and then do the other, just review the other one if this, if everybody likes this kind of review. Um, so this does come with three figures. So um, I guess starting off with Buzz, pretty nicely detailed. Um, just a normal plastic, I guess. Um, he has a hole at the bottom for pegs within the set. Um, this is like a very standard mold for the Buzz, so there's that. Um, you also get Zerg, which he is a slightly lighter colored purple from a lot of the other ones that are this size. Um, I know a lot of them are like a very dark purple. There's the face mold. Keep is, of course, um, kind of oft removed, not really attached to the actual thing itself, separated. Um, and he has fake wheels on the bottom. There's that. And you also get a Zerg bot, um, which has these smaller ones on top. And it's a nice, lighter shade of I don't know, gold plated color compared to the main one. This is a bit darker. There's the back. Nice and shiny. And there is some, of course, copyright info. So moving these out of the way and actually getting onto the ship itself. Um, there isn't really much to talk about with the ship. There is um, <laughs> rotating little wing flap things. A Space Ranger sticker. Most of this is all painted decals. There's the side. Um, and the back has no information except for like a Disney Pixar copyright. And the bottom has a um Oh yeah, that is supposed to be there. <laughs> um, whatever that is, but it's the opening. Or it's just a another sticker decal. Um, and the way you actually open this set up, moving this out a bit, of course, is uh, there's a little latch on this side here. Um, you just basically take that, and it moves open. Um, so, yeah. They come with these little cardboard cutout things. Um, there's three different alien ones and uh, Zerg logos. Um, they're all essentially the same kind of thing. There really isn't much to talk about with them. But there are like little slits within this, um, just kind of scattered throughout. And you can actually kind of customize it to a small degree. Um, there isn't really any instructions as to where these go specifically. Um, oh. This thing comes off often. But the whole thing itself is actually structured based off of the um, opening, aka the video game of Toy Story 2. Where is Buzz? There he is. Um, so you start over here, and I guess the Zerg bot goes up here. Um, nice decal of like the space or whatever from the opening. This thing has a little bottom thing that you can rotate. I guess you can just recreate the laser blasting scene. Um, and then a little turntable here, which actually, in removing these, you can see, opens and closes a little hatch, which is a really cool feature. Um, so you can just place Buzz on top, like so. Turn it, um, and he falls. And then there's another one here. I guess I should also mention that there is 
one of these surveys lens camera things which can rotate up and down um, as well as the head moving up and down and can kind of turn to the side although it isn't at a really great angle and it can only really stand up at that point so pushing them down you have another of the same kind of turn table here or the opening hatch I guess and he tends to do that often um, and then here is a memorable opening bit. So this thing comes off often, but um, it's literally just made up this little spike platform thing. And it attaches to this bit here. Um, and the whole point of it is you can have Buzz here, of course, and have him, you know, oh no, I'm running away. <laughs> and this thing can slide back and forth, so, which is, that's pretty cool. Another one of the surveillance cameras, although it actually has a spot to hang out there. Um, there's some nice, like, I don't know, indentation all around here also, which is pretty cool. Um, and then moving over here, this, I don't know how it connects. My best guess is, like, something like that, I guess, but that isn't really good for a review. So, moving up here, you have the platforms, which, I don't know, it's just kind of a base representation. Um, and then there's a little, like, hook thing down here, which you can use. There's also, like, a nice control panel, I guess, for Zerg so, um, to control this, the spike thing here. Um, the I have you now scene or whatever. <laughs> um, but... He can, you know, hang out. Um, and then this little bit here slides down. There's, like, little pegs for it to stand on. And then there's an actual peg on top, which you can slap Buzz into. And there he is. And it pretty good. Um, and you can push it upwards. Um, and now there's more of these little cardboard cutout aliens. Um... So this little battery, it says, um, Zerg's power. This is the battery thing from the opening, of course, again. Um, nice, more stickers here. And a blaster thing, which you can move up and down, like so, kind of rotate a bit. Um, the launching mechanism is actually kind of strange. Instead of pushing down on this, like, little latch thing normally, like you would, um, you actually push upwards but it comes out and it's just this little like piece which is pretty cool um, but yeah other than that there isn't really much to talk about with it I said as I said it um it's a pretty cool set just by itself but um, the other one the Woody's roundup one is much more complicated it's got a lot more accessories and stuff that you can kind of play around with and do whatever um, but yeah, that was the review, so, first review in a little bit, and uh, like and subscribe or whatever if you liked it, um, I don't really care, and I'll see you later.